What's up? Welcome to another Wizard Foo live development stream. Making the game Load Ragger. Five versus five. Multiplayer online thingamajigger. So today I'm working on um the trying to get a voxel occlusion to work really well because uh I run I run the the voxel engine and uh, it has so many voxels that it basically just overloads my GPU and runs super slow. And while I'm trying to live stream, it'll run even super slower. So uh, I tried to get, I had uh, OpenGL's depth testing working. In fact, I still do for the 3D mode. So basically there's a, there's a th I, can, I can get all the voxels to look good, but there's so many of them that it just runs really slowly. So something's wrong with that. Um, and uh, but I got this idea basically to do because basically every every one of the voxels has to be buffered and then sent to OpenGL and OpenGL draws it and all that. What takes a lot of time is buffering them, setting the uh, the new positions and colors of each voxel and things like that. So um, doing some kind of pre occlusion in type in your in the the engine before it does the buffering would be advantageous. Uh, so. But it's a, it works a lot like OpenGL's depth test. So it's uh, it's like, I feel like this is kind of like a hybrid software slash hardware renderer, which has just got me like, uh, there's something inside my my mind like, dude, this is there's gotta be a better way. But anyways, this is where I'm at right now. I've gotta try this, I gotta finish this idea, I'm trying to do this occlusion before the buffering. So let's make sure that we're we're still good on the stream here. Been having streaming issues trying to stream over 4G. Looks good. Yes, we're still green. Okay, it's awesome. Super awesome. All right, so let's. Um, I'm gonna jump straight into this. Let's take a look at what I've already done so far. Though basically, I'll, I've just created a uh, a new depth type for the voxel rendering engine, um, and a width and a height that's big enough so that uh, pretty much an entire arena will fit within this depth buffer so that that can provide easy lookups which I can also do for the dynamic shadows I can I can look things up in this buffer so this is kind of a, a double duty buffer here it's to serve in two duties one duty and another duty both duties are important um, so yeah it creates the depth buffer and um, then there's getting the depth from the 2d position the 2d position is basically just the 3d position uh, filtered through a view projection matrix and then um, yeah filtering that Z depth into a t into a two into an 8-bit type so that could be part of the issue I'm experiencing let me I'll show you in a second what the issue is check depth here um, oh, this is where it's painting when it goes to paint a voxel it checks its depth and if it if it's uh, too light in its depth or too deep I mean then just it throws away that voxel. So that's the whole key right here. This is this this is what should speed up everything and make it draw way less vertices. So, but then there's more to it all. Basically, it sets the buffer index also for each one of those depth positions. Uh, but a lot of this stuff is kind of commented out and really just like off the cuff code because um, I'm just sort of stabbing in the dark here. Stabbing in the dark. Okay, so let's anyway, let's, uh, this is all, it should be built up. Let's build it up. And. Run it in Xcode. Okay, so I'm going to be stepping through this code carefully to try and understand what is wrong. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I'm sorry about this. I haven't even showed you what the heck I'm talking about yet. Here's the issue. This is looking really weird. Two seconds ago, it looked great. Now it's looking weird. See? Alrighty, something definitely feels a bit weird, doesn't it? Let's move the character down. Oh, look. He suddenly appeared for a second. 
where the heck are his pixels? And you start going over here to the left, and there's part of him's there, and part of him's over here. Some weird stuff going on, right? The tree suddenly magically appears. There should be trees all over here, and ground, and all this stuff, but it is just whack. Everything's whack. And it's still not drawing less vertices. It's like 4.2 million vertices still being drawn. 4.2 million vertices. It's like a lot, I think. It's definitely a lot. You can hear my laptop's fan is already starting to blow. Okay, so anyways, let's step through the code, try and figure out what the hell is wrong. We should be down to like 400,000 vertices, not 4 million vertices. 400,000 vertices would be... One for every pixel on a 420 by 240 screen. So... Alright, let's, let's check this out. This is where I was. Oh, when we refresh the model, this is where we go and get a 2D position for each one of these. So let's make sure that's right. We should be drawing the hero. That's almost always the first entity to get drawn. Entity, yeah, this is entity one. Okay. Its uh, current render position is probably going to be. What is this? Okay, we're at render position 160, 160 ish. Tiny bit of adjustment there because uh, I've got some math that can basically project and then unproject a position. So basically, it turns a 3D position into a 2D position and turns it back into a 3D position that's just aligned on the 2D position's integer boundaries. So this, this position right here is actually will look better on the screen. This 3D position. Um, that's the trick. I'm trying to go for this voxel perfect look. That's what I'm trying to call it. Voxel perfect. Where every voxel corresponds to a pixel. And it all looks really good. So that would really simplify things, right? Instead of how you, you could draw a voxel with three faces. You could draw a voxel with all six faces if you want. That's a hell of a lot of vertices. You put, down, put it down to three faces. You still got 18 vertices. Or 12 if you do buffer indexing and all that. But then if you go down to vox, this voxel perfect look where every voxel turns into basically just a pixel. Um, you still got a, a beautiful 3D engine, 3D shadows and all that kind of stuff. But a 2D rendering almost. Uh, so anyways, each each voxel becomes one square, which is only four vertices. That's what I'm talking about. 400,000 vertices. That's the goal. Max. Okay. It is possible. I know it's possible. I've been struggling with all this for like a week, trying to figure this out. No, more than a week. Gosh. I got this. Okay. Center. Center point for this model. Oh, is that right? Center is like an offset more than a center. Oh, okay. Right? Because each one of these voxels... Oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I added in... So, okay, let's see. Let's, let's look at this render. No, wait, we need model. Current model, e rendered on model. I may have these positions all off. That could totally explain what's going on. So, yeah, size, right? Voxels, here we go. The voxels 30, 26. Okay, these are all positive. All right, all right, all right. These have not been modified yet. That explains it. So, center is an offset to. Is a subtractable offset. Right, so yeah, that would work. So plus, but no. Ugh. The the depths I think are a little bit are done with different math almost. Is that right?
Yeah, the depths are, oh. Okay, depths are positive or negative, and then the, the voxels are all positive. Okay, we need to simplify this. Because basically we want these we want it to be simple for this math to just sort of flow better. Um it's it could get worse before it gets better, basically, to sort of heal this, fix this up. So in the model, we need to go all the way back to the model where it loads each model. See, it goes and it updates all its voxel positions. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got the center point, right. And then the voxel, wait, wait. Is the voxel positions, are they int or are they unsigned? Good, they're int. Great. We're projecting that depth boss. Okay, so we basically just want to store the actual pause, not with the camera pause though. Okay, so let's let's simplify this to start with. Uh, basically, voxel dot x is going to be it's just plus equals center dot x. So if um, if you're just joining this live stream, I don't know what that heck's up with the chat. Shoot, if anybody's lurking out there, just uh. Did you lurking? Well, we have dropped a lot of frames, but it's still green. Ah, uh, I don't know if this is all working, but at least I'm going to record this and upload it to YouTube. So, anyways, watching on YouTube, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the vo the model loads all the voxel positions. The voxel positions are currently unsigned and not offset by the center of the model or the anchor point of the model. Basically, I'm pre-anchoring all the positions of the voxels so that I don't have to do that math on the fly at runtime or well, it you know during each tick so now voxel is plus equals center and then pause you can set pause to the vo just straight up voxel pause and then make it a float add the camera pause Project it back into the depth pause. Update its bounding box. Okay, let's watch it do that in the debug. Make sure it's doing that correctly first. And then we'll go back here into where it's refreshing the model, basically creating its bu buffering up its indices. Man. I've basically written my own renderer for this based on, it's actually based on the pixel rain from Songbringer. If Songbringer has all this pixel rain, it even has pixel snow. And that was all simple triangles, just GL triangles. And uh, that's basically all this voxel engine is either. Okay, here we go. We're setting the AA, BBB, the double A, double B. The axis is the line bounding box. Male idle A0. That's the one. It should be 52 by 52. Center is negative 26, negative 26. It's anchor Z is 0, so that's 0. 
uh, hey, thanks for the follow. What's up? Hey, if you're lurking, that's cool. Um, but uh, I'm wondering why the chat's not chatting today. So um, I'm wondering if it's broken on my end or something. But anyways, if any of y'all are trying to chat and, and I'm not responding, it's because I can't see your message for some reason. Okay, so we've got this. We're adding in the center point to each one of these voxel points. This voxel is currently 30, 26, 0, which will put it at like 4. Right. Yeah, 4, 0, 0. And it's Z. Uh, no, no, that's just, it's, it's color. Okay, and then we're setting that pause. So pause should be at integer position. Good. And then make that a float. Add in the camera pause. Uh, so that yeah, that that basically view projects that depth pause to I. Now we've got five, ten twenty zero, ten twenty four. It's good. Okay, so data depths push back a new depth. Store all this. So basically, we're storing the the depth is basically the two D position of the voxel. The voxel is the three D position of the voxel. All right. So that depth. Good. Okay, so that's a lot better. Let's let it run to, to the next breakpoint in refresh model. And now we should not have to add back in this center stuff. So I'm, I'm doing all this math wrong here. We do want to view project though the render position. Shoot, how do we do the anchor now? Now that we have we just don't even need this center point. We just need to add in the render position, I guess. So, wait, where does it get the... Oh, this is before it adds in the position. It adds it here for the step test. And then it, I think it adds it in here. Pause-I. Oh, this just prepares the buffer index, and then in paint voxels it goes and actually adds in the E position pause. Okay, I guess that's how it works. We don't need to add anything else. We already got the center. We don't just basically don't need to, okay, we need to refine this whole method here. Let's rethink this. Model's good. Let's close that for now. Voxel, don't, uh, we'll keep it over. Render system, here we go. Refresh model, this is, should be it, yeah. Refresh model, okay, we don't need to set up a ABB anymore, but I guess we can leave that stuff in. We're doing this, basically. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we don't need the center anymore. Center 2D. I think we do need that. Let's call this pause 2D. Nah, yeah, center 2D is actually a little more descriptive. Since we don't have a center anymore, we're just doing, once again, this set, voxel x, voxel y, voxel z. And then we rotate. Ah, good. Yeah, so we have the center already applied, so that can so this can be rotated correctly. Then we add the render offset. Now here we don't need that. Oh, we don't need the offset either. So we already added that. Let me double check this. We added the offset 
and applied the anchor and also half the data size, so we're good. That simplifies this. Okay, so we might not need to do this depth projection here because we already have the depth. Yeah, let's just leave that. Shoot. You can apply it back to the depth anyways. Here we can get a depth pointer. Actually, we should do a, a voxel depth it again. Like that, that's a little bit better. Now we don't need to really assert anything. Okay, so we've got the pause. Okay, so we rotated the position. And now this is all about testing the depth here. We make it a float, we add in the reg render position. Oh, we need to change up, oh shoot. Need to go. This needs to be voxel.x equals posi.x. We need to store that rotation. This is basically doing all the work it can bef before. Uh, you know what I mean? All the work it can before it has. Like instead of doing it every single tick, it just does it right only when it has to which does cause a little bit of a slowdown when a ton of things on the screen change at once. I'm still trying to figure all this out. It's like a real grinding feeling, trying to get this efficient enough to be playable. It's not, it's right now, it can sometimes run into 30 frames a second, but gosh, with way less vertices, this will be just way more efficient, so. This is retesting the depth. So the depth z equals depth dot z plus center 2d dot z wait a minute the depth pause Hmm. Okay, let's do this first. Adding in the position, getting out of depth pause, updating the depth. Yeah, this actually all looks good. Okay, so we, yeah, I guess we want to go depth 
pause.setI, depth.x, depth.y, depth.z, and then add in the center. Oh, I did some stuff that was like turning off this whole occlusion. Let's just I want to turn off occlusion. Why are we even retesting the depth? I could just make that false basically to disable that. But I'll leave it on for now. Wait a minute. I think we might want to go dev pause dot x minus camera pause two d dot x also here. Shoot, I'm not sure. I have to debug that to make sure. Oh, this needs to be dev pause. All right, depth pause plus equals center 2D. Yeah, and then if occludable, okay. I think that's it. Okay, now we're gonna step through this method I only got so many minutes to stream today. Half an hour left. Cool, so we got five zero zero there. These voxel depths or voxel positions should have some negative numbers in here. Oh no. Oh maybe they're just listed as unsigned. Model voxel. Did I have that in my LLDB init? I got this, uh, this is pretty sweet, man. This is a super cool point. If anybody's watching this and you use Xcode, well, or you use LLVM, you can set up your own type summaries for all, anything. So you can set up your display while you're debugging, like model voxel, the short code right here, I think is, I've got to set up a special thing. Is that right? Mo yeah, model voxel, here it is. So I can set up my own summary string. That's percent unsigned. We want to do percent percent D for these three. 
and we can test this out right now. Shift Y that, yank it into the buffer, slam it down right here, step over, and all these model voxels should be now integers, not unsigned in their summary. Here we go, sweet. Cool, that's how they should be, great. We got some negative numbers in there. That means it's just an offset from a center point. So we've computed this, uh, these guys' render position is 160, 160, zero, and that is a center point of 423, 185, 1100. Is that right? That's a whole screen. That might be right. What happened there? Okay, we're preparing this buffer index. Right, that works. Okay, we've got a point. Why, why, why is that? Are we still in the same entity? Yeah, what happened here? So jump forward a lot. Maybe I accidentally hit the play button. How did it's posy? What? Oh. Dang it, I gotta start over. That just it jumped and got me all. Okay, here we're rotating. That was four zero zero. Oh, our rotation is probably nothing. Okay, so we're updating the same position. Right? Voxel still. Oh. What happened there? What what? Posy's four zero zero, but voxel dot x is negative ninety six. What the heck just happened there? What? First thing, let's just rebuild. That was really voodoo. I set the depth pause or the voxel pause exactly, and then they had two different values. Okay, beforehand, 
The posi is 4, 0, 0. We rotate degrees. Find nothing. We still got 4, 0, 0. Oh. Oh. It's actually 4,000. Okay, so voxel x needs to be... Oh, this needs to be posi.set i. Oh, it's kind of confusing. Something I've done with this uh, with this game engine is to use a vector three position for all the entities that is an integer position, but that can store floating point positions sort of by multiplying things by a thousand. So the issue is that um, sometimes I get confused whether I want an integer base position without any of that floating point and, or the float itself. I think I need to imp add like a factor to it or something. Okay, so posi is four zero zero. Voxel X, Y, Z. Thank you. Four zero zero. Put it back to a float. Add in the actual position. Project that to get a depth pause. Remember we had a center 2D and we also have a depth. So these should be similar. They are. Good. And we can make that an integer. And then camera pause 2D should also be an integer. Yeah. So depth X, Y, Z. Let's make sure that's updating that correctly. Good. Okay, that worked. Now we're setting I here. Oh, we don't need the center. Wait, uh, depth. Oh, this is supposed depth. Depth is supposed to be. I guess it could be this way if the camera isn't hasn't been updated yet. I feel like I'm running through quicksand. Hmm. It's hard to know. Okay, it's really not that simple because everything is offset by the camera right now. So if I want to make this my life easier right now, be able to debug easier, I know what I need to do. Pulling out this trick. I love this trick. This is a great trick. Let's see what I'm talking about here in a second. Set the player invisible. Dude, what is taking so much CPU all of a sudden? The other day it was Dropbox. All of a sudden Dropbox started updating itself. Okay, now we go systems. OK, 
Okay, we're only gonna have the origin, the only thing visible. And we'll make the player start at zero, zero. So the camera is also sort of at that kind of offset at first, or a simpler offset, you could say. There we go. Okay, so we've got, yeah, that does seem to be moving the, the camera in such a way that it is one pixel per. Oh, and it's not, it's not messing up. You're supposed to be messing up all the time. Origin, so yeah, we are, yeah, we're seeing that correctly. The white pixel there, we can't see any of the green. Okay, so what this, what should happen Where's my little, there we go. The game is at about a negative 20 angle there. Um, we're not seeing, we're seeing it head on right now. So this is an orthographic pers perspective. Technically, oh, we need to put this ortho. There we go. So yeah, there you go. Technically, we should not see any of those green pixels. We can't right now. But the game should be filtering out these green, these green, voxels right here should not even be drawn so let's actually make this even simpler let's go down to just four four voxels total that's it it's all we're drawing and one of them should be occluded the green one this is my trick when i get stuck on something i simplify stuff as much as possible And let's just run it. So, so far, so good. Oh no, but we, can see, we can't see the blue one. Shoot, we gotta zoom in some more. What happened to the blue one? Oh, did the blue one accidentally get occluded? Oh, did I do my depth exactly backwards? <sighs> that might be it. Ooh, I hope that's it. Let's find out. Um, so if I go to voxel, um, let's go to voxel paint. And this little depth returning bit here, it's not return there. So this will turn off the occlusion that's built into the entire vox voxel engine. Oh, it's still there. Still no blue pixel.
Well, I'm not coming up with any quick solutions to try and get that blue pixel to be visible. I mean, wait a minute. What if this was the other way around? Oh, wait, that seems right. If the depth in the buffer is less than this voxel's depth in return. Damn. Meh. Okay, I need to step through. The first time it paints the voxel for real. Actually, I should probably step through everything again. All these. We're only drawing one entity here. Spider Kid, what's up, man? How you doing today? I thought my chat was broken. All right, Voxel. All cool? Same here, man. Things are well. Tomorrow's my day off. I'm going to go hiking. I'm excited about that. I was trying to... I had this goal for this week to get the game to be playable at 60 frames a second with all these voxels, tiny little voxels. Tiny voxels is challenge. It's a challenge because there's so many vertices. Yeah. So I'm trying to kind of finish the week out with uh, some success and be like, yeah, I can run the game at 60 frames a second now. But it's eluding me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to accomplish it this week. Meh. Uh, well, you know, every failure is just a delayed success. That's how I like to think of it. Alright, pausey. For this voxel is one zero zero. Ha. Uh, what you been up to, man? This one shouldn't be rotatable either. Good. All right, our depth pause is like that. Plus equals the center. Oh, center 2Ds. Oh! Playing some games? Cool, man. What you playing? Found one of the bugs. Center 2D. Make that an integer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know what that's like, man. I felt like playing some Bionic Commando for today's stream, but I just tackled this voxel issue again. Ah, uh, this whole 60 frames a second goal is so close. I got this some somewhere, somehow. I'm going to get a breakthrough. Starlink, yeah? Or Yakuza Zero? Salad Dogs, what's up, man? Yes. Yes, Salad Dogs, I can. Yep. Are you talking about billboarded quads with like, yeah, so you mean like an actual sprite on them? Yeah. So that, um, that's been on my mind, uh, but it, I'm going with this, this, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep the 3D look just in case. Like, maybe I want the camera to zoom in sometimes, 
and so that each each voxel will become more 3D and look like it's an actual isometric cube instead of just a pixel. But sometimes I want it to be just pixels to get to this 60 frames a second thing. So gosh, it's I'm just I'm just scared to let go of the 3D at this point. You know, I could I could go all the way and make it just like you said, billboarded quads, which basically is what I'm doing here with um without the billboarding. I'm just doing two triangles, just a quad with no texture. Um that's what it will eventually be. So the goal here is to get every basically my goal right now is to go from four million vertices down to four hundred thousand vertices and still be able to do the 3D cool stuff if I want, or maybe the camera can you know do some cool effects. I don't know. I I, I may be trying to grasp for too much at this point. I don't know. Oh, we don't need to. Okay, we don't need to check that that part anymore. Let's move on to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe eat some Mario mushroom, and the whole world goes. He turns into. Turns into more three D. Oh, the center 2D, right. I found that. Okay, cool. We got the center 2D is now a, a, an integer base position, which makes the voxel depth pause right here. An integer position. Boom. Okay, that's better. Combining adjacent voxels, that's a that's also a great idea. A light, right? So if there's two two voxels right next to each other, or maybe there's ten voxels right next to each other that are all the same, cutting that down to just two triangles definitely would help reduce the number of triangles. Also, though, that increases the um, the the workload on the CPU trying to pro trying to buffer everything. But if I do that at first, or maybe I do that and apply it to the model file. Shoot, there's so many optimizations that can be done, and eventually I will figure this all out, and it'll be dope. It'll be 60 frames a second dope. Hello from Korea. What's up, man? Hello from Eureka, California. Cups of milk. What's up, man? Welcome. Zeth, what's up? Yes, this is currently single threaded. This the most of the game code is single threaded. The renderer runs in a separate thread. Okay, where are we at? Okay, let's let's go on to the next bit of this where it includes the model. Let's make sure all these pauses are correct. Right, definitely something that can be done to scenery. Combining all their vertices into one. Or, yeah, or simplifying their vertices. Yeah. With something like, a, the, the challenge though is something like um, a tree, for example. This is, has a ton of voxels that are all kind of like, well, see there are a few faces in this that would definitely be simplified or can be simplified. But there's also a lot of things that can't be simplified in something like this, you know? And if I were to draw this correctly and it didn't have so many flat faces, it would be even less able to be optimized. But some things could be optimized. It definitely would help. Okay, let's get to Get to the point where it paints a single voxel. We've got the posi set up. That's one zero zero. The depth pause set. The depth pause does that need zero zero zero? Cool. Wait, zero zero zero. No, the voxel depth should be something. I 
point. Maybe not. Shoot, what are these? Dang. Okay, so we're now in the in the occlusion phase where it's buffering up the voxels. And there's the model. Okay, so this model's voxels is four voxels. Four voxels? Voxel number four. Okay, one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay, each one of these depths. Oh. Let's make a s oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love doing this LLDB in it. We're gonna make a, um, a, a type summary for model depth. So model depth has an XYZ. That's it, just an XYZ. Okay, and those are all integers. So var X, var X, Y, var Z. Delete that, copy that. Oh man, that's the timer for the end of the stream. Okay, but let's at least do this. We'll finish this up. This is a sweet, this is a sweet little trick. You can actually set up your own custom formats for your debugger with LLDB, LLVM. So I just added a type summary for model depth, and now if I step one more thing, each one of these model depths will actually show me the, their summary value. Boom! Look at that, four zero, ten twenty four. Yeah, okay, these are correct. These are correct. Why is depth pause not correct? Yeah, over 20 years now. Okay, well I do have to shut the stream down, but I'm trying to see if this worked or not. Why is it, so depth pause. That's weird. It didn't get its voxel depth from, or, from the depth pause. Okay, I'm gonna set my break point here. I'm gonna leave it here. Maybe later tonight I'll get another hour in on this and get it working. Just a quick summary of what I'm trying to do right here. We'll run it again. I'm trying to get the game to reduce its number of vertices dramatically by drawing simpler voxels. Right now I've only got four voxels on the screen. That yellow triangle in the top right is actually a 2D pixel being drawn in 3D. Um, so there's there should be a blue cube on top of that white cube in the middle of the screen, but the blue cube is missing. I'm thinking maybe the occlusion is accidentally occluding that. We'll see. Anyways, the, the whole point is when if I try and put the player on here and the ground and trees and and bushes and all everything that you would put in a, in a whole voxel world, it jumps up to like four million vertices, and it's just way too much for the renderer to try and handle on my old laptop here. So. My goal is to simplify everything, use less vertices, and that's the goal. Uh, and I'm trying to do that with an occlusion uh, before it buffers the triangles. So I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching this this video and this live stream. Um, welcome, Cups of Milk, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to end the stream. Sorry about that. That's all I have time for today. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time, next live stream, next video. See ya.